let's do a week of dinners, shall we? This morning I'm getting started early because I'm doing a crock pot meal. Since I have all that beef for my brother, right? I have these roasts, look at this huge chuck roast. It's massive. So this is probably my favorite way to make roast. Dave might prefer the other way, but I think this one's better, personally. So I just cover the whole thing with Montreal steak. And then I sear it in a skillet. It's an extra step, but I feel like it like really brings out the flavor, right? What do you think? I think, it's, I think it does bring out the flavor. I like the searing. Like, it, it's, it's nice. This thing is huge. I, you could do it in the Instant Pot, but it would be like, you'd probably have to cut it in half. It's a weird angle. Look, I've got ribs over on this side. There's a huge bone right there. This is a chuck roast, did I say that? So I'm just gonna cover this, sear it on all sides for just like super high heat. And then we're gonna pop it in the crock pot. Let's go do that right now, shall we? Oh, that is hot. Look at that. I know. I hope I don't set off the fire alarm. I don't know if it'll fit. That almost does not fit. Look at that. <laughs> the only other things you really need is some beef broth and onion scoop mix. That's it. So as soon as that's done, I'm going to throw it in the crock pot, mix these together, pour it on top, and let it go for 10 hours. It's seriously the easiest thing ever. And I shred it up and then put it on mashed potatoes, like the shredded meat and the juice. You can have some veggies. In fact, let's see if I have celery. I can put that in. Okay, about to pour in my mixture. I did three cups of broth this time, just because that guy is so big. And I cut up some celery. So I'm gonna put that all in. You guys have never had like roast celery. It's actually really good and we'll add in some carrots. Ta-da! Put that on. And I'm gonna cook it on low for about 10 hours or so. Here's the completed dinner. You can't tell me that that does not look amazing. It looks amazing. I mean, come on. Tonight for dinner, I am cooking up this etouffee mix with some shrimpies. And I'm gonna add some chicken because I did not realize as I was reading the directions on the back that you're supposed to use three pounds of shrimp. Wow, so I added chicken instead to cut the cost quite a bit. So we're gonna go ahead and mix this up. I have some leftover rice, and I'm gonna cook some new rice because you always eat etouffee with rice. So I'm gonna get going. I cooked up my chicken in my Instant Pot, so I'm gonna shred that up and add that in. This is the brand I'm using. I think you can find it on Amazon, and then Cajun Spicy, I believe, has their own website if you wanna purchase it yourself. Their jambalaya mix is super Here's good. Here's the completed etouffee with the rice on bottom and, sh and shrimp and chicken on the top. Dinner tonight, very simple to put together. I pulled some T-bones out of the freezer that my brother had given me, mixed it with one of those McCormick Grill Mates seasoning packets. I have several red potatoes, and I'm gonna do a roasted red potatoes. I have this, I think I'm using this Tuscany blend one, of course. I got it on clearance, you guys. Uh, it's almost gone, so I just wanted to finish up using this one. It looks like it has enough on it, and I'm gonna run out to the backyard and see if I have any more green beans on my plants and finish up the green beans for this year on the side. So steak, potatoes, green beans. Pretty basic, very easy. I'm gonna throw these in the oven. Those will go on the grill, and the green beans will take like five minutes on the stove. Dinner tonight is an assortment of leftovers. So I just wanted to kind of clean out the fridge. I have two servings of the etouffee. I have a little bit of roasted potatoes and green beans. This is a couple of french fries, hot dogs, and some black beans and rice. So whoever wants to eat whatever, they can have it. And just in case you think I'm not cooking today, I am making four loaves of homemade bread. It's rising right now. All right, Ryan, let's tell the viewers what we're eating for dinner. We're having hing chicken hen sandwiches. I, what I put in my hing is his, his ketchup in my history. We have some pots right here. 
some cheesy tots. All right, now mine is way better than the boys. It's actually the same. I just put double chicken. So there's one. And there's the second one. And then cheesy tots. Sounds pretty delicious. Did you show them your new shirt? Plot twist. It doesn't mean anything. It's for, just for all the bookworms out there. I showed it to my mom, and she was like, "Oh my gosh, you're pregnant." False. <laughs> what are you eating? Nothing right now. My stomach's upset. I'm just putting this bread away. Gotcha. This is this is the patties cooked up in the air fryer. They're not too shabby. Yeah, they're pretty crispy. I like them. What about you, Speedy? What about you? <laughs> cherry is in the freezer, so I made this gorgeous cherry cream cheese crisp. Doesn't that look beautiful? Oh, I love the book. For dinner this night, I made a chicken cacciatore pasta thing. I had a McCormick seasoning packet. As you can see right there, it's just the packet, a can of diced tomatoes, and some heavy cream and chicken. And you serve it on top of pasta, and that's about it. It was so easy to come together. It actually tasted really good. And you could serve a salad on the side to add some veg. The kids adored this. Whipping up some broccoli cheddar soup. I have some broccoli pearls, an onion, and then like a cup of shredded carrots. They're like, they're like yellow carrots. Cooking up in some chicken broth. Cooking up the sauce that thickens the soup, makes it creamy and stuff. So I got my butter and flour. I'm about to add my Milk actually have half and half and milk together. Okay, here we go. Whisk that until it thickens and we're gonna throw it in the broccoli, the cooked broccoli soup, and then we'll add the cheese. Just melted all the cheese. It is looking about done. I suppose if you left the carrots out, it would be like keto-ish. I don't know how the flour counts into that, but I don't know how else you would thicken it without the flour because that's the traditional French method of doing it. Mmm.